Now, there's another story I want to get to this hour. It involves a taxi driver right here in the Washington, D.C. area who says he was physically attacked by a customer who looped him uh, in with the Boston Marathon bombers. Mohammed Salim is a Muslim. He's also a United States Army reservist who served in the war in Iraq. He says a man got in his cab last Friday, accused him of being a terrorist, threatened to kill him, then broke his jaw. Salim recorded some of it on his cell phone video camera. Watch this. Will you denounce it? Will you say that that was bad? No, you won't. Sir, whatever you said is recorded. I don't give a flying I'm going to call 911. So right you now, think that it was right for the I'm gonna call you right to now. Fly planes into the United States. I'm gonna call you to the police. <laughs> okay, whatever you're saying is recorded. And now you're punching me. You're punching me. Do you think it was proper for the United you, States? You, you, now you're punching me, right? You're punching me, right? What? Punch me. All right, joining us now is Mohammed Salim and his attorney, his attorney Gadir Abbas. Uh, thanks to both of you for coming in. And uh, Mohammed, first of all, how are you doing? Uh, how badly were you hurt in this exchange? I really get bad hurt. Uh, I got a fraction of my uh, jaw, uh, head injury, and also my right ear. Uh, I'm really get hurt. Um, so that was really scary. But thank God I'm alive. Thank and God you're what, alive. What Indeed, happened uh, was... Good dear, good dear, go ahead to uh, pick up the story. Yeah, and the video cuts off uh, after uh, uh, he gets hit once. But what the video doesn't show is when Muhammad goes to call 911, actually uh, the assailant re-enters the vehicle, uh, casts uh, additional aspersions on all billion plus Muslims of, uh, of the world, uh, says that Muhammad is cousins to the Boston bomber and, and then hits him a couple more times. And this followed uh, several minutes of really some of the ugliest uh, anti-Muslim comments that one can imagine. Uh, Muhammad at one point asked um, uh, Mr. Dahlberg whether or not uh, he was uh, had prejudice and uh, Mr. Dahlberg's response was that yes in fact he was and that uh, indeed uh, Muslims are, as, as, as a general matter are responsible for acts of uh, violence that the extreme few commit and what Muhammad's situation really highlights is that Muhammad is uh, an army reservist who served in Iraq and defended his country. And what his incident highlights is that the acts of a few cannot be uh, generalized to over a billion practicing Muslims in the world. And maybe Mr. Dahlberg would have revised his statements had he known the service that Mr. Salim provided. But what we see in documented video is an example of anti-Muslim prejudice that violates the law and uh, has no place in our country. Uh, we did get a statement uh, from uh, the individual, the, the lawyer for the individual who was involved in this altercation with Mohammed. Uh, client became rather emotional as the discussion turned to jihad in 9-11 and especially heated on the subject of jihadists who want to harm him. Uh, Mohammed, what would you say to this individual now if he's watching? Uh, if he's watching, I'm really saying up front his, his face, sir, I'm, a, uh, I'm not a, a terrorist. I'm a U.S. citizen. I'm a U.S. Army. Reserved. A, a reserve, I mean, I serve the country and I sacrifice my life. You don't know me. You don't know my background. And also, I ask you, do you know me? And you say, I don't give a F. That's what, you, that's, that's what your response. So... I sacrificed this country, I, you know, I put my life, and I myself, I was fighting the terrorist, and also I'm against act of violence. I'm not terrorist, I'm not jihadist, I'm American like you. You're not only an American. So, there's a lot of Muslims who serve the country, and I know a lot of Muslims, almost like five, if not mistaken, more than two, three hundred Muslims who serve the country, and uh, the war on terrorism, or war on Iraq. So, um, Sir, and you know, act of 
individuals, they're not responsible, one and a half billion Muslim around the, uh, the world. Right. So again, so you have to apologize me and uh, one and a half billion Muslims. Mohammed, uh, thanks for your service to the United States. Uh, Gadir, thanks for coming in as well. We'll continue to pursue this story. We appreciate it.